hello everybody welcome back to the channel so on today's video i wanted to do some more decorating ideas in our cottage for little island last week we did a video of three separate cottage core picnic build ideas and today i wanted to do three separate cottage core cafe building ideas just to help you fill in some small spaces on your island and what sort of ideas you can go off of last build i bought them on three separate parts of my island but my my island's currently pretty unfinished at the moment and i'm not too sure where i want to place these if i was to place on my island so i'm going to be building everything in the same spot so i'll be building one thing clearing it yada yada so they won't be permanent sadly i'm very excited for the three separate build ideas we have today so starting us off number one we've got a good old little coffee shop I like these are necessity and they still have stuff like tables and chairs and coffee beans and all that sort of stuff second up we have a bread cafe so a little bread shop utilizing some stuff like barrels tables sweets all that sort of stuff to make this cozy little bread corner and then lastly we're going for like a fruity or sort of sweets cafe so this is going to be utilizing some of the 2.0 items with a little sweet stand and stuff like all of our cakes where you'd buy them and everything i will also be recommending my favorite three items that I think you should use but anyway I hope that you guys enjoy this build video so let's get into the first build we are into our first build so I wanted to try something a little bit different and try and utilize I guess different things for each of the builds so this one I tended to utilize some of the panels and also for like pathing on the floor we did sort of the circular pathing you'll see what I mean soon all of the pathing on each one is different um, which has been really nice to sort of create with but I, I do really enjoy how this one came out it's just this cute little area um, just a cozy small little cafe run by one of the villagers uh, maybe Marlo and Marshall can run this one together I don't know I thought it was really really cute uh, but it yeah I just I really like how this cafe turned out a little coffee store a couple of my favorite items are in here I really like the stacked bags in this area but we just did a sort of small area a couple of tables a couple of chairs to go through and just overall a really neat area so yeah we're just placing these paths down I do wish that I had like a corroded version of this path uh in the sense of like full path but like grass coming through and like sort of broken path uh, broken brick pathing of like all the the paths grass paths coming through uh but yeah we're just onto the final sort of like path placing down bits of this placing a couple of trees and some small items and some plants and everything overall i think this is a, a little look that could fit into different areas on the island i don't think there's a really particular area where it would suit better or suit less like it's kind of a cute little area and this can be like with all of the builds you'll see they can all be expanded into bigger areas or all shrunk down into a smaller area like you could probably even half the size of this if you wanted a tinier area so yeah we're just finishing it off just adding in this little dirt path as a sort of like entrance because I just felt like this area was a bit like empty but I didn't really want to put anything else down there or have any other ideas so yeah this is just me finishing off and placing some more items down but this is us we are finished with this build so this is our little coffee cafe as the three items i would recommend definitely recommend the stacked bags for this one i recommend the metal and wood chairs and also the siphon wasting no time we're on to our second build which is our little bread cafe this was my favorite out of the three that we did i really like how this came out i love the passing options that we chose for it uh, I wish the effect I had originally planned worked a bit better with the pathing options. I, I really wanted to have the deck sort of look like it was on an upper level. Uh, I know it's not always easy to do in like the optical illusion part of it as, as well. Um, but I think that would have been really cool. I just really like this grass path. This is a path that I highlighted quite a lot in my path um, video. It's, it's by a creator called Kuroneko and it's just so, so good. So I popped a couple of like grass and stone paths around here. Uh, lots of lots of grass paths and just like made a cute little cozy hangout area uh, lots of barrels with some food options on there as well so really really like how this one turned out I think it's it's a really cute area and like I said with the last ones this is something that you could easily expand and make a bigger area or make it a smaller area like you could shrink this again in half so I tried to with all of my builds make different sort of layouts and formats so this one was definitely a sort of at, at the back but there's this other area on the side here and sort of split it into into little areas so 
yeah we're just onto some final touches this one didn't have as much of the like flower pass or flowers in it because I didn't really feel like it needed it I put a tree there to sort of shadow over it which I do really like the idea of and a couple more sort of like plants and everything to really make it but this is us coming to the end of the build just a couple more smaller items placed down and I think we are done. This is it. This is our little bread cafe. For my three items I would recommend for this one, I definitely recommend the menu. I like it in this white color. I also recommend the clay furnace at the back there. I think that it's a perfect little area to look like you're cooking the bread. And then also the barrel fits in here perfectly as well. And you can pop some little bread items on top of there. And lastly, we are on to our final build. This is our little sweets cafe. I'm unsure about how I feel about this one. I think it had a really cute concept. I think the execution wasn't great. Um, and I would like to make this, I think, further down the track. I think right now, this was probably the best that I could do with the idea I had in mind. Um, I still really like how it turned out. I still think it's a really cute concept. I think it just maybe... I was too ahead of myself I think with the idea I think I had a, a vision and I was like let's do it but I just didn't know how to execute it well enough uh, so I mean let me know what you guys think about it uh, I, I really like this little path that we like started with the dirt path and then did this little stone path throughout and so this is our last sort of different I guess pathing option um, I did want to try and keep them all sort of fairly different in the sort of concepts um and we, we we achieved that i feel um i wanted to do a little partition wall at the back sort of like walls of stuff i tried to do it with the bookshelves but it just didn't work out how i wanted to so we ended up using these medium partition walls so we could use them as shelves as well um and if this were sims i would put little plants or like ivy garlands up there i think that would suit very well uh, but it is not and we cannot sadly but this is pretty much the progress so far we popped some sweets cabinets down um, I popped a bookshelf there we ended up moving it and adding in another one I do think it's a really good idea to have a bookshelf in here I thought it'd be cute that you could read the books while you eat a, eat a cake or something um, but yeah we ended up having to move some stuff forward because you can't really walk around the back but it, it, I made it work I made it work so this is just me moving everything over to pop in another one of these walls because I had a third one so I thought it would be like extra space and I thought it would work out so yeah we we ended up getting rid of one of the tables because there just wasn't the space yeah here I am sort of trying to figure it out and you just can't move anywhere so moving this one over there's still a little space for you to like line up and and order some food and everything we're just popping some of the essentials at the back there the cookie jars and everything and this is me moving the uh, bookshelf and adding in another one so that you can like you know read a book as well while you you do so a little bin and some final finishing details for this one and this is our little sweets cafe done like I do like how it came out I do feel like it could have been better but for now it's not the worst and I'm still pretty proud of it for my top three items I'd recommend for this one, I would definitely recommend the sweets case. Um, I've got it in this darker color just because it shows the cakes, but you can use any of them. I also recommend the frozen drink machine. I think that it is very, very, very cute. And lastly, I would recommend the compact kitchen as a great uh, choice for this one. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below which cafe was your favorite that we made. Or let me know what kind of cafe you would like to make on your island as well. Maybe I'll have to make a part two. If you did enjoy the video, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe as it does help me out quite a lot. But anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye, everybody.